today is the day we're dropping off the Mini to give it back. This was a 48 hour rental, which is a pretty sweet thing to do. Uh, I'm so glad that Mini actually do that. BMW do 24 hour ones as well, which I'm definitely testing some cars out for myself at some point soon. It's a fantastic little car. I missed out on hot hatches and I really regret missing out on hot hatches. Get yourself a hot hatch as your first car because you will not regret it. I kind of regret that I didn't. For those that don't know, the X5 is the one getting replaced uh, when we get this vehicle. So for those wondering, how do you have so many vehicles and all that kind of jazz? Um, no, I don't have a lot of vehicles. What we're doing is getting rid of the X5. And it's filled up. I don't know how much to fill it up. You've got to basically fill it up to... I think the boot just opened. It did, I sat on the key. I don't know how much to fill it up because obviously I've got to fill it to the level where you pick it up. And I don't know how much fuel this car takes. And I've actually got it bang on perfect, if not a little bit more than what I started with, but hey. Okay, turning it off. Saying goodbye. I'm gonna miss it, it's such a cool little car. That one looks insane, but yeah, goodbye to the Cooper S. I'm gonna miss it. It's such a fun little car. Like, it was so cool to have a car to just nip around and, and whiz around and not have to worry so much of it being a big car and being in the way. And, but at the same time, I do kind of miss the looks that the RCF would get because obviously it's a V8 grumble. It's like a hard balance. Like, I don't know. Like, I want practicality, but I don't at the same time. I've seen one in person before. They're actually tiny. People were also suggesting that for Meadow's first car, which, come on. No, I don't dislike them. I really like them a lot. But I'm saying, is that it's pretty expensive. I mean, it's pretty expensive. It's a brand new car, and also considering the fact Meadows is going to be a first time driver here in the UK, considering that's how it works. Uh, so, no, that's not, not entirely possible. There's a whole bunch of different cars I want to try out, at least test drive normally, but the 48 S test drive thing was super cool, and it makes you kind of get to live with the car, opposed to just a normal basic test drive. Now, this is something I've been, I don't know why I've been holding off on saying it, but I have a P.O. box, okay? A P.O. box has been open for more than seven, eight months now, I think, and I just haven't released the details. So down below in the description, I'm saying this because I'm, that is gonna force me to put these details in the description. There'll be a PO box if you wanna send me absolute tat, you can. I'm gonna go through them in videos and open them in videos if you send me some stuff or send me some letters and that kind of thing. So I thought I'd say it, but that way I have to force myself to add it to the description, otherwise I'm lying. Fun fact for you, for those that don't know, my wheels are actually supposed to be gloss. I wanted to ask for a little tip from you guys. 
what what do you use to polish your wheels as such to make them kind of shinier? Because I've cleaned mine quite a bit, but obviously they still don't turn out perfect. I don't think they'll ever turn out as perfect as when I got them, obviously, but what do you use to clean your wheels? I use this devil's breath stuff, it's like the pink stuff that you spray and leaks out, but I did the wheels and left the rest of the car. I know it's a bit weird. So anyway, the, the montage stuff you saw, the TT is not gone, it's in the garage here. <laughs> turn that off. Alright, so I put the TT in here, there's loads of room. Move the TT out when I'm working on a car that's going to be there, the main bay. Quick update on the Skyline. I've actually ordered some stuff, and this stuff, unfortunately, it might be a while. This stuff has been ordered from Japan. It's going to directly replace something I already have on the car, so it's not adding to the car. The bits I've ordered come from Japan. Normally, they say it would take seven days from dispatch, but unfortunately, a lot of this stuff is made to order. So that means it's going to be a while to get the thing made, and then to get the thing sent at the same time. There's going to be a long wait, but stuff is coming for the Skyline. I am then looking at, after I've done this, pretty much a few extra little bits, but other than that, we're looking at power. I keep going back and forth on what I want to do with power, like how much I want and how little I want. And it's, it's all over the place, but the RB26 is a solid engine. This one's been looked after super well. I'm going to do it the RB justice as to where it's going to be powerful, but it's not going to be stupid because I don't, I don't want to like ruin it, you know? I want to keep this car forever. Now there's something that's always kind of bugged me a little bit about the Skyline, not a massive amount, but in the front window screen, the first view you get is the wing mirror, which is grey, and the rest of the interior is basically black. If I, sh if I show you inside, the interior is pretty dark, the roof is the same colour as the rear view mirror, but that doesn't matter, you can't really see that when you look in. So I'm going to spray this. To take it out, you literally you like yank it. It's really terrifying to do, but it's, it makes sense as soon as you actually do it. Um, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to do a bunch of little bits on the car, just because this is the car that's like... It's mine and I'm going to keep it forever and ever, so... It's cool about having that feeling because I know with a lot of other cars, for example the RCF, I'm always like, should I do this? Because I might want to undo it at some point, because I might want to sell it at some point. Same with the X5, same with a lot of... Pretty much every car I've owned, but this car, like, I'm going to go for it. Spend like a year masking this off. Uh, I would, as people would probably moan at me, sand this, but I, I kind of want to keep the texture on it. It's kind of like a rugged texture. I really like it. So that's going to stay, and this is just rubber, this pops off. I used these bungee cords last time to actually paint, but I'm actually just using it to dry this time. But the wing mirror is complete. I didn't paint that. I spent ages trying to get masking tape all over it. So I'm not stupid. I know some of you think I am, but as you can see, it turned out pretty well. Still wet, somewhat better view of it. Anyway, you'll see it better on the car when it's done. It's not all painted because the cap goes over the top. So, but yeah, so now is the wait for it to dry and then I can put it back in. It'll be done for next time you see the skyline, but I think pretty much we're done with today's video. It was a little bit of a different kind of direction, if you will. Um, unfortunately, I'm not TG Hunt, Adam LZ, so I don't have unlimited money to throw at cars. And it's also an R34, and there aren't a million parts available laying around in the UK. There are quite a few, but not as many as you would hope and dream because obviously there's some parts, most of it is in Japan where I've got to wait for it. So I'll plan ahead better next time, but there's also been a delay on my shipment. So it might even be middle of next month that I get it, which is kind of annoying. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more kind of pace like this, sometimes be sure to smash like, subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you in the next video. Till next time.